What's up guys, Toxic here from GameFuse and I'm going to be showing you how to install the new version of the Aether mod. And this just came out like a couple hours ago so a lot of people are going to be asking questions so I just decided to make a tutorial. So let's get started. So um, this is the Aether mod, you want to scroll down, there's a lot of new items added, you can take a look at that if you want to but right now we're going to install the mod. So scroll down over here to the Aether mod requirements. So what you will need for this mod is mod loader, audio mod, player API, Shaka AHPI, and of course the Aether mod. So I already have all these downloaded, save some time. So what you want to do is just open all these. First opening the Aether, Shaka API, player API, Oops. audio mod, and mod loader. So okay, let's minimize this. So here you have all your opened up requirements. So what you want to do is go up here to the start, go to the search programs and files, and type in percent app data percent. This will take you to the roaming folder. So this is the roaming folder right here. So you want to look for the file that's called dot Minecraft. It's right here. Double click on that, double click on bin, and here's the Minecraft executable jar file which you want to open with WinRAR. Minimize this. So here's your Minecraft.jar file. And first thing I'm gonna do is delete the meta meta inf folder, which I already did because I installed the mod. And um so let's get started. Here's the first mod you want to install, it's called mod loader. What you want to do is drag all the contents in this file by pushing control A to select all and then drag them into your dot jar. This screen will pop up and it's gonna just push OK. Then you want to install audio mod. So what you want to do is hit control A to select all and drag it in as well. Push OK. You're done with that. Then um let's do shock API first. Then you want to go into Shaka. This is Shaka HPI. I'm going to double click on the bin. And you want to drag, hit Control A to select all. And drag this all into your Minecraft.jar. Push OK. And you're done with that. Then it's Player API. You can hit Control A to select all. Drag all these in. And hit OK. So now we're installing the Aether mod itself. So what you're trying to do is double click on the jar file folder and this is all this contents files folders dot class files I'm going to hit control A to select them all and put them into your jar and when that's done you want to hit OK and but you're not done you want to hit double click this dot dot folder to take you back and you want to go into resources you want to go back you want to go back again. You want to go to your resources folder here. And um, over here is your resor resources folders. And you want to take this folder called mod. I'm going to drag it in. And then it's going to call it mod.rar. Push OK. And wait for this to. Uh, and the, the resources folder is for audio. So if you want audio in your mod, you can. You have to put the resources folder in the resources. If you don't care about audio, you don't really have to do the step, but it's it's nice to have, so let's just wait for this. Okay, once that's in, it's gonna be a, a WinRAR archive folder called mod.rar. We're gonna click on that, right click it, oops, right click it, and you wanna extract without confirmation. Hit that, and then it's gonna confirm file replace is going to pop up and put yes to all and just wait for that to extract shouldn't take too long mm -hmm. any day now since it's a big mod it it could take a couple minutes because of all the sound files so 
give that a, a minute or two. So once that's done, exit out, exit out of that, run Minecraft. And if you get a black screen, then you installed it wrong. But if you get the Mojang screen, then you... correct. Just give this a little bit to load up. There's the Mojang screen, so that means you installed it correctly. And of course, wait for this. There's a new uh screen, I guess you can say that. For the Aether, so you gotta wait for this to load up. So let's give that a second. There we go. As you can see, now there's this new screen. You can quick load, normal theme, toggle world, and in my opinion, it looks pretty sexy. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, subscribe, comment, rate, and uh, see you guys later.